This the real shit! How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm a mother of four children. I have four beautiful babies, and just like you, I need to learn how to not die. So I need to learn how to spend my money. This is not an advertisement. <laughs> Learning how to spend and manage money isn't really a part of like the school system. Although you can sign up for a class, it's not really required, which doesn't make any sense to me. These are very important topics, learning about taxes, learning about managing money, because these are real shit that hits you real fast when you turn like 18. I cannot tell you the amount of people who I've went to school with and I've seen outside of school like years and years later who have kind of ruined their lives, not learning how to manage money and not learning how to keep their dick in their pants to be honest <laughs> anyway i'm gonna talk about like something nobody really talks about credit scores my credit score is actually very high <laughs> i'm joking with y'all i'm black my credit score is down the fucking J. what the fuck you mean real talk as soon as i got out of high school i basically had no credit score my credit score was absolutely shit because i was just a baby. I didn't really have to pay for anything. Mama and Dada paid for everything. And so there was nothing for me to really build up. And so when I first got my first car, to be honest, I have no idea how I got my first car. I'm very thankful for the people who helped me get my first car. It was uh, one of my best friend's family. Like they actually helped me get my uh, first car. So like very thankful for that because I would not be here if uh, without them. Anyway, when I got my first car, I actually started building credit because I started paying for it monthly and it was something that actually was like a line of credit, you know? So my score was actually going up. And dear fucking God, it is impossible to live as an 18 year old and poor and black. I, I think I forgot a word in that sentence, but you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> Dude, paying for my mother's bills, paying for food, paying for myself, paying for my fucking car, my insurance. Dude, as a 18, 19 year old, that shit was fucking impossible, dude. I was fucking cracking under pressure because as a young teen who is actually black as well, they didn't trust me with shit. So like, I had the highest fucking rates of God knows what. I think I was paying like 200, 250 at the start of like my insurance and that shit is fucking insane. On top of, um. I think it was like 300 for my car payment at the time. Either way, it was fucked up. And I was on minimum wage. I got rapped about this because holy shit, I'm looking back to those days and I'm just like, dude, how the fuck did I do this shit? I'm actually insane. I'm cracked as fuck. Even though I was paying a fuck ton of bills and everything like that, the only thing that really was building my credit score was my car payment. Like credit scores only really raise when you're in a mountain of debt that you actually forcibly created for yourself, which is kind of stupid as fuck. Being forced to put yourself into debt in order to build your credit score is actually the most American thing I've ever fucking heard. Anyway, fast forward to like 2022, I believe, and I got my car paid off. And my credit score is actually looking very pretty. It was like, Super pretty. Yeah, I wouldn't say super high because you know I'm still black. But you know, it was like it was like a decent amount. It was like kind of above average, and I was feeling good about myself. The only problem was I paid off my car. I paid off my car, and so although I was paying other bills off, I was no longer building my credit. And so that high score I had, I didn't think anything about it. I'm like, oh, it's gonna stay there. No, it did not. It actually dropped pretty fucking low because I wasn't in debt, <laughs> which is stupid. So I started recognizing that and towards the end of this year, I did one of the scariest things for most people, but I think if you're sane and you know what you're doing, this is a good move to build your credit. I got a credit card. And I know to a lot of people, that's a scary thing to do. A lot of people just live on debit cards. Hell, I lived on debit cards for basically my whole entire life up until this point. But I need to recognize when I need to build my credit so I don't fuck myself up in later life. I'm fully dependent for myself now. There is no going back. I depend fully on myself. Like. I need to make shit work, you know what I'm saying? I think the biggest fear of credit cards comes with not being able to pay them off and you have to pay constant like interest because you're paying late fees. 
but I think this is how you're supposed to do credit cards. Basically, and don't take my advice fully. I'm not gonna act like I know everything, but I have taken an accounting class and like I do know how to manage my money. And I believe this is a proper approach for me. I'm not I'm not talking about y'all, okay? I'm not talking about y'all. A lot of people kind of use the credit card in order to like buy things they don't really need. Like very expensive things like say PS5s, gifts, Amazon, online shopping and everything like that. And I think that's not what you need to do. The mindset I have of a credit card is actually kind of simple. Basically, I use it to buy like groceries or mundane items I would normally buy. And then I use my debit card whenever the time is to like uh, pay off the bill and everything like that. I use that to pay off the credit card. And so that section of like groceries and everything like that, it basically gets paid off. It got, it gets like, redirected to my credit card and then I pay it off of my debit card if that makes any sense. That way I'm basically killing off two birds with one stone. I'm building my credit score and I'm also paying off the grocery bills or whatever I decide to buy, you know what I'm saying. I don't have to fear going in debt because I'm constantly hitting that threshold I need to hit in order to like pay off my credit card every month. A lot of people don't really have limits when it comes to credit cards. They get like uh, let's say a $2,000 line of credit and they just spend like $2,000 out of the blue. Like, no, that's not how that works. You don't really have that money. It's basically like fabricated money. You're basically putting like a down payment on your credit card for the groceries or whatever you decide to buy. And I feel that isn't illustrated enough when it comes to credit cards. Be smart with your money and don't spend your money on things you really just don't fucking need. The way I make space for my luxury items basically I just like I take the price of the luxury item and I times it by two and if I can't pay off that amount then I don't get the item and I know that's not how everyone works I'm not saying you should do that too but I think that's a very good um, mindset to have when coming into like managing money basically if you can't pay off double the amount and still have enough money in the bank for savings or whatever like that then you shouldn't buy that item yet and that's just how I've been living and I've been living pretty comfortably to be honest. I'm a poor person and I'm making do with whatever I can because life and especially America fucking sucks. How the fuck do we not have free healthcare? Dude, it's actually insane that like so many countries have free healthcare, but like in America, if you wanna get a checkup from a doctor, they fucking plunge your wallet. They give you the black plague and they say, Fucking die, motherfucker. Dead ass, you can't be sick in America and make it. It's so fucking stupid. America's built on greed and independence, and they don't really come together as a community, unless it's a fucking minority they wanna fucking bully. Anyway, this is just basically me talking out my ass about scattered ideas and ideologies. I don't fucking know. You pups have a good 